God's blessings to you viewers. This is Evangelist Patrick Wandera from Makere Hill Deliverance Church here in Kampala, Uganda. I head missions and evangelism in this church, Makere Hill Deliverance Church. And uh, we have been handling a number of deliverance cases. Uh, I hand also a clinic called Deliver Deliverance Clinic here at Makere Hill Deliverance Church. Um, in this program, we are going to be bringing you a number of testimonies of people who have been uh, captured by the evil one, the devil, worked with him, have known him. Uh, some of us will hear that people have gone, uh, people go under the water to look for wealth, people go in different places, and we think uh, this lies, this is fiction. Uh, fiction. Uh, we have documented a number of their testimonies. There's this one called Soul Merchants. It's one of my uh, my books. Uh, in this book, you uh, right now there are websites where somebody can sell his soul, and we handle that because I've prayed for people who have sold their souls on the internet. They will buy it. You remain alive, but something is missing in you. So along the way, many young people have come. I have a young man called Suga. I've just written a book about him called uh, Satan's Attacks on the Local Church. Suga was eating human bodies and human flesh. Uh, but I mean human flesh and drinking human blood. But he was working in a born again church choir. He was assigned by Satan to attack church. I've written a whole book about him. I will not share deep about him. So uh, we are going to be bringing people with unique testimonies like her. Uh, today in the studio, I have somebody else. Uh, he's called Eddie Kavuma. But before we go there, this is what the Bible says. Because some of the things are very unique. Uh, the Bible says in Luke chapter 8, verse 17 to 18. I'm reading from a New Living Translation, NLT. For all that is sacred will eventually be brought into the open. And everything that is concealed will be brought to light and made known to all. So, pay attention to how you hear. To those things who, uh, to those, to those who listen to my teachings, more understanding will be given. But for those who are not listening, even what they think they understand will be taken away from them. So the Lord is very clear here. The scripture is telling us there are things, secret things that are concealed, but eventually they will be brought into light. Some of these testimonies we are going to be sharing, Satan has concealed these things for a long time, but God has brought them to light. Now the Bible also tells us to, be, to pay attention to what we hear. There are some people who will hear these teachings um, and understand them. More understanding will be given to them. But to those who don't listen, those who distribute, the Bible says, even the little they think, they know. There are certain things that you will hear and you, you rubbish them off. So sometimes even uh, you, uh, the Bible says, even the little that they, they think they know will be taken away. Now let's go to the book of Acts chapter 13. Uh, verse 41. I'm reading from an uh, amplified version. It says, Look, you mockers, and marvel, and perish, and vanish, and vanish away. For I am doing a work in your day, a work which you will never believe, even if someone described it to you, telling, uh, telling you about it in details. God is a God of new things. There are new revelations. There are things that he's doing. Now, sometimes, many times, when God is doing a new thing, we a new thing, we tend to reject because we don't understand it. He says here, even if somebody describes it to you, telling you about it in details, some of you rubbish it. But these are authentic testimonies. I speak as a servant of the living God. Uh, I pray that as we share the things, they will help you get some of our materials on our website which we'll be telling you later. Now in the studio today I have one of the young men whom God has brought into my life recently. He came bound. His name is Eddie Kavuma. 
uh, he has Edi Kavuma um, has been he was born in a, a terrible background from a priesthood let me say two priesthood demonic priesthood the paternal side uh, the grandfather was uh, an overseer of many demonic shrines the mother was so much involved in satanism and even when she was getting married they had to look for somebody who has a similar background so they looked for eddie's father who also comes from a terrible background so welcome with me eddie to the studio to talk to us so eddie you are welcome to this show please tell us about your background and what you know uh, i greet you all in the name of jesus christ uh, my name is eddie kavuma I thank God for my life and for each and everything he's doing in me. Really God has brought me from very far, from a very, very, very bad background. So uh, I'm going to be ministering to you viewers through my testimony. I thank God for my life and for everyone out there. Uh, many people in the world have had very many things going on. Very many things, some of them they believe, and for some they don't believe, they ignore. They have heard about what we call Lucifer. They have heard about what we call Illuminati, Satanism. But some people think that they are just theories. But I'm here to give you experience. To give you my experience. Because uh, I have ever been with Lucifer for a long time. I have served him faithfully. He has used me to do very many things. Yes. And this is my story. Uh, I come from a very, very terrible witchcraft clan. Now, just pause on a bit. Mm. When you talk of being with Lucifer, our mm. viewers may be confused. You know, Lucifer is Satan. Mm. We know Satan as a supernatural being or a spirit which we cannot see. Now, were you seeing Lucifer? Uh, are you talking like uh, you just worked with him hearing voices or you do see him physically? So, many people out there, you've ever heard of people selling their souls to the devil. They give the devil their souls in exchange for power, fame, and everything they desire. But for my sake, I didn't sell myself to the devil. It just came while it, it, it was like I was created and uh, when I was in my mama's womb that's when they began initiating me how did it come about uh, my mama's father that's my grandpa uh, he was so deep in satanism he was a general overseer of very many shrines in Uganda yes so uh, he served the devil faithfully, and the time came that the devil told him, now your time is about to end. So you're going to die, and you, you, you have to get a heir or someone to, to be your successor. So this, this grandpa chose my mom as his successor. So they began initiating my mom after being chosen by the devil through my grandpa. So after all that, the devil, actually the devil had already told the, the, the grandpa that you're going to die on this and that day at this time in these minutes. So after everything, when that time came, my mom told me that they were in the hospital and when the time came, he just, the, the, the grandpa was sleeping on the, on the decker. So he just turned his head like this and he died. So from that time on, my mom began now carrying on the responsibilities. So time came for her to get married. So the devil told her or instructed her to get married to a husband who is also deep in witchcraft. So many things happened. They chose for her a husband. They got married, Kali Chole. So who chose for her that husband? The devil himself. 
So she would interact the, with the devil the way I'm interacting, or she would hear voices from the devil? Uh, for her, she would do what we call astral projection. She would leave, her spirit would leave her body, then she would go and meet the devil in the spiritual realm, because the devil is a spirit. Mm -hmm. So they gave her instructions and she obeyed all of them. So she got her first pregnancy after marriage with my dad. So she gets married to this man who is your dad mm. and he's also a devil worshipper. He's a witch and he's also from a generation of witches. Yes. So now there are two priesthoods, demonic priesthoods that I have met. And you come, uh, she gets a pregnancy, which you are talking about. And later, of course, we, we know about, okay, you will tell us about that. So you're a product of that priesthood. Yeah. So go ahead and tell us about that, okay, what so happened? When she got pregnant, they had to sacrifice her first child. Uh, she was a daughter, she conceived very well. After conceiving that child, before she, she was five years, before she made five years, that's when they sacrificed her to the devil. Because they had to pour blood in order to lay a, a, a firm foundation for a new coming generation from my dad. Now sacrificing her, did they get her and cut off the head? Or how did they sacrifice her to lay that foundation? You know, very many people out there, mainly this thing is common in Africa, uh, where you may be having your, your, your son, your son is playing around, then he just collapses, then he loses blood. So for you, you don't know what happens. When you take that person to the hospital, the doctor will say, this and that disease, but when demons have come for that person's blood, they drain out the blood. So that's how they sacrificed. So she just and collapsed died. and died? Yes. Uh -huh. and so the, now that was laying a foundation for the later generations, yes. which included you, or, or a foundation for the children who would come from your mother's womb? Yes, for, for a new generation. Of evil people? Yes. All right. Or all servants of the devil. Okay. Yeah, so then. after that, she got her first. Uh, she got her second pregnancy. After that, that that child survived. She's my elder sister. So after that, she got another pregnancy. That was me. The third. The, the third pregnancy was me. So when she got that pregnancy, they began initiating me immediately in the first month. So she began doing very many covenants with the devil. So when, when the pregnancy reached four months, she began going to the scan. You know, they tell them, you go to, uh, you go to, you visit the scan, they have to see how the, the, babies, the yeah. babies. So she began going there and they would always encourage her. They would always say, yeah, the baby is fine. You know, he is in a, in a normal condition. Don't worry about anything. So she went on and on like that. So after like uh, eight months, when she went back to the scan, that's when they, 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 these doctors realized it, that the, 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 womb, had, uh, the, the womb was carrying uh, two creatures. So, and for that thing, they, that thing two was... Two babies or two creatures? Well, what, what exactly? It was me and a creature, a familiar so creature. even the skulls could not... Uh identify whether it was a human being or they knew they were twins yes before before all that before clocking to eight months yeah. uh, they thought it was one baby. they they would always see one person that yeah. was me yeah. they would not recognize the, uh, that thing. creature yes so when it clocked eight months of her pregnancy that's when when she visited the scan that's when they saw a snake and me mm -hmm. a python and me in the in the in the womb so they couldn't uh, do abortion because she was about to deliver. So things went on well. She delivered very well, and she she did she deliver from hospital? Yes, from hospital, uh -huh. and she delivered under intensive care of uh, a satanist who is a nurse. Uh, okay, we are not going to name the hospital. All right. Um, so you were born. So when you were born, you were born alone. Or did they bring that creature? Did you? Did your mother give birth to another creature as well? She gave birth to me, and and that python. So you were a twin. Yes. 
Uh, this is quite surprising, but uh, I've seen a number of the things. There's a, a story which was in one of our newspapers, I don't remember, but it was a Luganda newspaper, where they photographed a woman who had a twin and a python. It was saturated on the Uganda media for a long time. Uh, these things we hear about them. Uh, so you are saying you are a twin to a python. So did they take that python uh, back home or did they name it? What happened? So after all that, because she was, she, she was uh, being, uh, she, 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 she was taken care of by a nurse who was also a satanist. Mm -hmm. So this nurse knew each and everything going on or taking place. Mm -hmm. So she delivered very well and they gave her me and her and Python. that Python. So when, 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 when she carried us home, they did what we call in, in Uganda, there is a ceremony they do when, when you have twins, when you produce yeah, the twins. twin ceremony. Uh -huh. Yes, twin ceremony. So they did that ceremony and they gave us names. Mm. So they gave me the name Kavuma, then, the, then for, for, for that Python they gave him a name called Mayanja. So, but he, during that ceremony, they did what you call a spiritual bonding. Mm -hmm. Bonding, they, the, it was like that, that, that python had a, a spiritual side of it. A physical and a spiritual. Yes. So he, those who would see, they would see just the physical python. Yes. But it was very spiritual. Yeah. So they had to bond you so that you are one with that python. Uh -huh. So go so ahead. During, after, uh, during that ceremony, that python, it, that spirit python, let me, let me say spirit python, uh -huh. it won me like, like you can put it on a dress. It wore you like a dress. Like yeah. a, uh, yeah. uh -huh. It wore me like a, it is like a, you wearing or putting on a dress. A dress. So, so it entered inside you. And now, uh, so for you, you are now like the dress. I would, no, yeah. I would feel like putting on a dress, yeah. but that dress is in a form of a python. Hey, so it would appear like it is on top. Yes, and you are on, inside on top. Of, you are and inside me am inside, yes. Okay, okay, now get that. Mm -hmm. So things went on well from that time, but she, she told me that when, now, when... Wait a minute, did that python, did your mother breastfeed it because you are breastfeeding or they gave it some other food? No, they didn't breastfeed it, of course. What they did, they carried it and took it to a certain, uh, a certain cave in a certain area. So they, they took that python there and they began taking care of it uh -huh. from that side in a cave. By feeding it or? By feeding it with eggs, chicken and everything else. Wow, they must have had a lot of chicken. They, were, they, they, they had man and everything. Uh -huh. Yes, go ahead. So. Me when I reached a, a stage where I would do understand begin, and uh, understand and be and uh, I would do eat soft food when you you can eat soft food that stage. Okay, before you begin understanding, you are now just. Uh -huh. So they introduced me to a, a diet of raw eggs. Uh huh. So I would be always being fed on raw eggs. You just crack the egg, you pour in the cup, and you drink. Now instead of drinking porridge. Yes. They began to give you the inside of an egg. That. They would just uh, bash an egg, then that you, you drink that liquid. I drink the liquid. So the, uh, they were doing that because they had to feed it. It was like they were feeding two people at a go. Okay, okay. Oh, so now when you drink this egg, even the python will be drinking that egg. Yes. Uh, so they were feeding a snake. Okay, yes, go ahead. Yeah. That's why sometimes you can find the people, find someone who is overeating. Someone can eat five plates of food and you wonder how that, that come. Someone can eat ten plates. I've but seen people in a competition of eating and they eat incredible food, amount of food and people are competing with them. Yeah. Because they have, those people have what you can see, they have demons inside them. They have something eating. Yes. And for you, you are not seeing, you are just seeing this uh, disappearing into somebody's body and wondering, is this an elephant or what? <laughs> so, <Yes. laughs> they began uh, feeding me with the eggs and uh, that's how I grew up. Uh -huh. So after some time, when I reached a, st a stage of understanding, I was like four, four years there, three years, four years there. I, I, from that time I would be 
uh, there is a, a world be viewing this planet, the, the planet Earth, to, that I would be always seeing. It was like I was, I would be always seeing two realms at a go. Mm -hmm. So it was like I would be seeing a human being in the physical world, and I would also be seeing a spirit in oh, the spirit. That human being. A spirit. Of, I, a sp I would be just like you'd be seeing someone. Mm -hmm. But me, I had that sense that I would be always getting access to the spiritual realm. So that's how I, 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 I grew up. But after some time, they began now, uh, uh, they began making or renewing covenants on me. They did some cuttings on my forehead, on my finger and under the feet. So after doing those things, they were initiating me deeper into Satanism. their witchcraft or, witch or, or Satanism. So as time went on, uh, time came, I had to be taken to school to study just as a normal child can go to school and study. So they, me, I didn't study nursery, this first, the first class nursery, that one. Nursery mm -hmm. class, I didn't go to that one. So, yeah, in the Ugandan system, we begin with a nursery class, then uh, that is preschool, then we enter primary, then after primary, we go to secondary school. So he, uh, he's saying he did not use the preschool, but uh, he went straight into primary. Yes. Uh -huh. So they took me to top class in a certain school. Top class that is nursery. I didn't study. You baby, did study it, it baby is called the baby, okay. yeah. Baby nursery class. has uh, three classes, baby class, middle class, and uh -huh. the top class. So he skipped baby class as middle, and middle class, then he went to top, top class. class. Mm -hmm. So I began studying, but I was so wise. You did not attend these other classes, but the, where you started from, you were very brilliant. I was brilliant. I would be thinking like a, an adult. Was that natural wisdom or demonic wisdom? It was demonic because mm. I was two in one. I had a, that python, mm. then... So in other words, you were like a genius. Yes. So, uh, does this thing allude to some of, there are some geniuses, people who do supernatural things, or their wisdom is above their peers, but uh, they have some spiritual connection to it? You know, in some, in, uh, uh, some people when they produce, they, they initiate their children in certain things. Okay. So, so they, people have different backgrounds. So yes. there are those who come from highly satanic backgrounds, and they could be initiated and be above others. Okay, so you were like that. So, uh -huh, you finished nursery, then what happened? I didn't study uh, So, okay, okay. I, I finished the top, top class. class. Mm -hmm. I went to P1. So, in P1... That this is P1, primary one. Primary one. So, I began now seeing things deeper in a different way. I would be seeing spirits, how they would be working, tormenting people, attacking people. So, I would always get confused. But as time went you on... You see them attacking people in your class, in uh, the streets, or where exactly? Or in the dreams? Everywhere I would be. In wherever, the you, world. wherever you passed in the physical yes. world, you would see spirits. I would see spirits attacking people. How would they attack them? Would they beat them or...? Beating, uh, slapping, kicking. They would and somebody cursing. doesn't see it. And someone cannot see because... It, that is a spirit and for you are a physical person. You can't but if I don't see it and uh, does it affect me? Do I feel any pain or something? Yeah, after a after certain time, those things manifest in the physical. So you feel the pain in your body? You feel the pain, you feel you're weak, you want to vomit, you feel dizzy, you feel everything. Oh, devil is a liar. Mm -hmm. So I would be seeing Now, such when things. you do see such things, are there people who do not be attacked by these things or they just attack everybody? Uh, at that time, I would see every person being attacked. Attacked, okay. Yes. Yeah, uh, go ahead. As time went on, I, uh, I remember I was in the, in the middle of primary one, in the middle like... The, 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 now, when do things were attacking everybody? When they attacking you as well? No. And they looked why? to be friendly to me. They would be, uh, I would always be talking to them. They would be sharing many things with me, mm -hmm. 
So for me, I, uh, from that time, I thought I was a sp- I was I was speedier. speedier. Yeah. yeah. So I thought I I knew I was different. In my heart, I would always feel that that I was different. Okay. Uh huh. Go on. So, uh, they they they. Uh, that's what I used to see. But in the middle of primary one, maybe uh, let me say second term. In the second term of uh, primary one. Yes. That's when I got a dream. And in that dream. I was in a, a certain conference where very many people actually. I was I wasn't there alone. We were in a certain conference, seated like some. We were waiting for someone to come and address something, or to share something with us. So we were all putting on black and red. That was the the wear. So me, I was on the front seat. Black shirts and red trousers or something or black trousers, uh, black trousers and red shirts. No, red Girl? shirts, no. then black trousers. Black, black black shorts actually. Not yeah. it, they were not trousers. Shorts. Shorts. But when they are black, then the shirts were red. Uh huh. And we are all of barefooted. Yeah. So there was some someone who was addressing us. Mm. He was saying very many uh, very many things. Uh, after. That person said, uh, let me now welcome the high priest to come and say something to you. So we all, we, we all, we, we are all already expectant. and expectant to see who which high, who priest. high priest is. Yes. Uh-huh. So after like two minutes, the high priest came. He was floating in air, like you see an aeroplane floating. Oh, that was in a dream. It was not reality. In a dream. Uh-huh. Yes. So he came floating in air. Because in a dream you can see anything. You can see even yourself flying. Okay. Yes. So this person came. He was also put. Uh, he, he he had a, a red gown mm. and uh, a black shirt. And down uh, uh, on his feet, I would not. Uh, we would not. We would not recognize. We didn't recognize what what he was putting on down. But we would recognize the upper parts of his body. He was like Superman. Like a superman. Uh-huh. So, uh-huh. He be- he, 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 when he reached, he began singing. So as he, as he was singing, we felt like, we felt his love. We felt fear. We felt like we never, we, we didn't want him to stop singing. Mm-hmm. So he went on with the singing, but in the singing he was praising himself. Hey. Uh-huh. So it was, it was like, me, I'm God. No one can run away from me. The world is mine. Everyone is mine. Man is mine. Everything is mine. I'm but in a, a song. In a song. And a very beautiful song. And a, uh, with a very beautiful the voice. voice. Had a voice. Actually, as he was singing, we would, we would hear voices of, of different musical instruments. Mm. The guitar. The, the sounds of the, different the, 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 the sound. Yes, the yes. Guitar, piano, what and what. So we wondered. So after some time, he vanished, just vanished. Mm-hmm. So as he, he vanished, then there came a very beautiful lady. Yes. This lady was moving. She moved the four, four times, going to and flow. Mm-hmm. So on the fourth time, she came and looked into my face. She stood in front of me and looked into my face. So as she looked into my face, she was so beautiful. I looked at her and I was, I was feeling it. I was feeling her beauty in me. So this lady held my hand and she took me somewhere. When she took me somewhere, we reached at a certain point and there was a, a stone. She was holding you like a baby because at that time you were a baby. So she gets you like a, a big lady can get a sick small boy. No, yeah. she was holding me. She was holding me properly that. Uh, in that dream, it wasn't. It was like I wasn't a baby. Uh-huh. It was like I was also mature. Mature. Uh-huh. So she got my hand. We went to a certain place. So we reached the first stone, a very, a, 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 a very, a, a very beautiful stone. It was glittering, glittering, and, and it was so so nice. Mm. But it was in the form of a, uh, an egg. So we, we, uh, me and that lady both looked in directly into that into stone. The stone. Yes. So as we looked, it, that stone released some rays of rays. light. Uh-huh. Uh, it released those rays of light, 
Then those rays, those rays. Did it release or it was reflecting rays of light? You know, it was like releasing, like something is it releasing. It was like in the source, not a, yeah, a, the a source. reflection. Yes, uh -huh. but those rays, we would see them physically, like uh -huh. you see something is getting out, out, uh -huh. and it, they, they, we, they got out, and they, we, it, it was like we consumed those rays uh -huh. of light. So some powers entered you in the dream. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. So after she left me, and she went her way. So now that's when I realized who I was. Mm -hmm. That's when I, I realized that I was a satanist. So as time goes on, now. dream? Yes. Uh -huh. So as so time. You woke, you woke up when you were different, or Satan had told you that there's something special? Yeah, after, after when, when that lady went away, mm. uh, they took us to, to a certain hall, another hall. Uh -huh. So they began teaching us Bible studies. Satan teaching uh, the Bible study uh, in the world of Satan. Yes. Were you with other witch doctors? Very many people follow. Were Saturn. they witch doctors or they were just Satanists? Or witch Satanist doctors. Followers? Uh, I, let me say Satanist followers. Uh -huh. So from that dream, now from that dream, that's when I woke up uh, after like it was like someone told me who I was. So I realized it, that I was a Satanist. So from that time, I began thinking like a 50 year old man. Mm -hmm. You've begun thinking like a mature because you are not yet 50, so you don't know how the 50 year old people think. Like, mm -hmm. my like understanding was like a mature person. Mm -hmm. Reasoning capacity, the reasoning capacity was so mm -hmm. high. So uh, after that, then something strange happened to my life. Just as you see that an hour has 60 minutes, for me, every time I was living on earth, I, I, I would spend 30 minutes focusing on this physical realm, mm -hmm. and then the 30 minutes I would be seeing myself in the underworld. In the spiritual realm? Yes, in the world of Satan. So every 30 minutes, or every after 30 minutes, I would be taught Bible studies, and the foundation of Satanism. So in these Bible studies, uh, I, found, I realized it that they manipulated the word of God and made it to work for them in a, a to manipulated To suit their way. agenda. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they taught us how to use scriptures to do the devil's will. Hey. Yes. So not the will of God, but to do the will of Satan. The will of Satan. Uh -huh. So, sometime we would be taught by demons, and sometime the devil himself would come and teach us and encourage, encourage us. Now, a demon would come in a physical form, and you see it. Uh, how was it appearing? Uh, can you tell us something about that? Uh, because my inner man was living in the in devil's the kingdom. Uh -huh. So, the devil had deceived me that uh, this is where you are, this is your home. I'm your dad, I'm your God, I created you. So feel free, never disobey any, anything you do that pisses me off, you will receive a punishment. So when the devils, these demons were teaching you, mm -hmm. were they appearing, were they appearing like a, in the physical form? Would you see them, touch them? Or, uh, huh? Now when they initiated me into Satanism, they, they took my inner man and chained him mm -hmm. in the devil's kingdom. Some people call it the underworld. Uh -huh. So that's where demons are. That's where they do their, oper their plans to operate on earth. When in the spiritual realm, so you would see, because you're in the spiritual realm, you would see the spirits the way they are. Yes. Uh -huh. So I would see them the way they are. Now, about the Bible. When he's teaching you the Bible, was he telling you this is his book or it is somebody's book? He told me that he, that, that is his word. But... So, some people uh, tried to manipulate his word. Uh -huh. So he had to remove those manipulated scriptures and leave those scriptures. Which his, belonged to him. Which belonged to him. Because he told us that he was the originator of the Bible because he is God. Ah, that's complicated. Now, I think uh, viewers, maybe next time we are going to pick it up from there. Uh, Eddie lived for many, many years. How many years? Underworld? 13. Yes. You got delivered when you are how old? Uh, 
Uh, I got delivered in 2016. Uh -huh. Now I'm 21 years, so someone can calculate. Okay, so he lived most of his childhood or uh, early age with the devil until you were about how old? I was up. Uh, uh, I uh, was in. Oh, uh, you were delivered in which year? 2016. In 2016. And you were born in which year? 1998. So from 98 to 2016, Eddie was working with the devil. More, he knows so much about the devil. We can't summarize it in one session. So we are going to pick it up from there. Viewers, we are looking forward to seeing you next time. Uh, may the Lord bless you. May his presence be with you. May he to, uh, continue to teach you. We pray that this uh, program will be an eye-opener to many because we are going to be sharing many things. We are going to bring in many, many, many guests who have benefited from this ministry. So, Eddie, can you say bye to our viewers? Uh, viewers, I thank you for watching us. And I believe this testimony is going to touch very many people and there is going to be a change and a difference in our lives. May God bless you all. Amen.